You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Hello, my darlings Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to another video. I hope you're all okay. Hope you're enjoying your week so far. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's um, a new video. Uh, I was going to do like a little bit of cleaning and organising for today's video, but I'm not. <laughs> I've got a haul for you instead. I've got a B&M haul and I've also got a few bits from Poundland, not a lot, I picked up a few bits, that's all. So I thought I'd share them with you as well. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all okay. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Max, I upload three times a week. Everything from um, hauls to stuff to do with uh, my home, which is in the process of being renovated, we're halfway through. Uh, it used to be an old village primary school, uh, up a mountain in mid Wales. So yeah, we're quite rural and I often um, upload stuff to do with the home as well as fashion, beauty, try-ons, hauls, a little bit of everything on this channel here. So if you think you'd like that kind of thing, please consider subscribing down below, popping on the notification bell, and you'll be notified each time that I do upload. And yeah, to all my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. I love you all. Let's crack on with this B&M and teeny tiny Poundland haul. Right. First of all, can we just ignore the hair today because oh, I didn't feel like washing it because how cold has it gone? It really has gone cold. I'm still full of cold. I'm negative for COVID. I did a test yesterday and I'm negative, but I'm still full of cold, head cold. And so I thought, you know what? I am not washing my hair. So please excuse the state of the hair. It's shocking. But yeah. We'll just not mention that, well, even though I have just mentioned it, so. <laughs> right, let's start with Poundland. As I say, I didn't get loads. Uh, to be fair, I'm not impressed with Poundland at all these days. I'm, I don't know whether it's just my Poundland because it's very eat and miss. But yeah, I went in and I was like, now get me to B&M and arm bargains any day of the week. I've, I've lost interest in Poundland, to be honest, but I did pick up a few little bits. So the first thing that I got, I picked up Les some trousers. Now, this is the style of trousers that Les wears all the time. These cargo trousers with the pockets on the side. These say work, wear. So, you know, because he's always pottering about in the garage or in the garden, on the lawnmower or whatever, he's always doing that. So he likes to have plenty of pockets to put his, his screwdrivers and, you know, all his bits and pieces that he carries about with him. So I picked him up these and they're a 34 waist and they were £14, which is not a bad price, to be fair, for work trousers, because uh, the pair that he's wearing the life out at the minute cost him 40 quid, so £14, and yeah, he was quite pleased with those, so uh, next time I go, I'll, I might pick him up another pair. Uh, if they had a different colour, it would be good, like khaki or something, but I'll pick him up some more black ones when I do go. Uh, picked up some French fries, these was two or three quid, Les likes them, so I picked him up a couple of those. Picked up some sellotape because um, I'm almost out and yeah, they've only got that, they haven't got any packs or anything, that was a pound for the one, uh, but yeah, I, I just picked it up so I've got it. Some cotton pads. A uh, hundred in there, they was a pound. Picked up some blades, they were two pounds. Some toothpaste, that was one pound fifty. It's gone up, was a pound. Some flash spray wipe done in this limited edition apple spice. Because as I say, I am 
going to do a cleaning video. I'm going to do some cleaning after I've finished filming this video. So, you know, I will fi film it. And I wanted some, like, oh, to me, um, smells. This was all I could find. That That's all they had, even in B&M. They hadn't really got anything like really nice and autumn-y. Though it was all Hawaiian and all like summer fragrances still. So I just picked that one up. Apple spice, multi-purpose. And then I picked this up. It's a sellotape dispenser. Of course, you know, it's coming to the season. Christmas where we're going to be wrapping presents and it's a dispenser and it's got two rolls of tape in it and that was a pound which I thought was really good because uh, I always use scissors and it's a bloody nightmare when you're wrapping up isn't it I thought that would make it a little bit easier hopefully it works okay and I bought some uh, tape refills to go with it and they was a pound as well I also picked up a hair dye now, this is called Silver Diamond Blonde. Thought I'd try something a little bit different. It's a permanent colour, daring permanent colour cream. Vivid and bright effects, long-lasting colour with a mirror shine. So, if your hair is blonde like this, like mine, it's gonna, it says that it's going to go like a silvery colour. Just thought I'd try something different. Uh, and that was £3, which I thought, yeah... That's the kind of price I like to pay. Um, I'm thinking now, looking at it, maybe I should have picked up two. But my hair, it, it's long, but it's fine. So I'm hoping it's not thick. So I'm hoping that the one will be enough. That was £3. And then the last thing that I picked up from um, Poundland, uh, the little bit of pep and cow that I've got in my Poundland, it's not massive, but they, you know they've got a few bits. They've started doing jewellery. Look at this, how nice is this chain? I thought over a black top, that would look really nice. And it's the three colours, yellow gold, gold, rose gold and silver. And I love mixed metals, I really, really do. And it's like what they call a snake chain. It's so pretty. And this was three pounds. And I thought over a black um, plain black top that would look absolutely stunning so yeah that's the last thing that i picked up from poundland so the next few bits that i'm going to show you are from b and m now i didn't get loads because there was so much christmas stuff in there there really really was and as much as I wanted to purchase some of the Christmas stuff, I didn't because I don't need it. Honestly, I do not really need any more Christmas stuff. I have got so much up the loft in the garage. It's just, I went up there the other day because I was putting away the cushions off the um, patio furniture and I had a little look and I was like, oh my God, I forgot how much there really is. There is a few little bits that I need. I need some um, Christmas tree picks, you know, some new ones of those. So I will be picking up a few little bits, but I didn't see the point in just buying for buying's sake. There was some lovely stuff, don't get me wrong, there really, really was. And I, I ummed and ahed, should I pick it up, shouldn't I? And I thought, no, I'm not going to. No point in just picking it up for for the sake of it so uh there's only one christmas related thing in here and it was this <laughs> it's a little hand wash that says believe on it and this was two pound they'd got one that looked like um a bauble with christmas lights on it and they got one with santa on it and i thought well for by the side of the sink in the kitchen that's all right. It says believe on both sides. You know, just a little bit of something in the kitchen at Christmas. Uh, so, yeah, that's the only Christmas related thing, really. And that was £2. I also got Les some rum and raisin chocolate. They haven't had this in for ages. Uh, it's one forty nine. I did get him two, but he's, he's, uh, he's got one. <laughs> so I picked him up two rum and raisin chocolates. I picked up four bottles of bleach. This was 
49 pence, I think. I picked up four bottles, one for each of my bathrooms. So I don't have to keep, you know, taking one from one bathroom into the other when I'm cleaning. So I've got one bottle for each of the four bathrooms now. And I, I think it was 49 pence. Uh, picked up a bumper pack of refills for my Dishmatic. This was two quid and you get six in there. Got some fairy uh, washing up liquid. This is in Wild Berry and this was one ninety nine, and it's the fairy platinum. And then I saw this. This was one forty nine. It's elbow grease washing up spray. Never seen it before. They've got the pink stuff as well. The same thing, washing up spray, but it was the pink stuff and it says it's lemon fresh for glasses pans and plates the only the only cleaner you'll ever need so yeah spray wipe rinse kind of uh, intrigued so yeah i'll be using that later i'll actually i might include it in my cleaning video so we can use it together yes i'll definitely do that when i'm washing up we'll give it a go I know you don't really want to see me washing up, but for the purposes of trying <laughs> out that product, yeah, we'll definitely do it. Nescafe, Gold Blend, gotta be every single time, £5.50. And a large coffee, mate. I always get one when I go to B&M, £4.49. Because we, we don't have milk in our drinks. We honestly... I buy milk and I end up throwing it away. I don't know why I bother buying it because it always gets tipped down the sink. I only use it if we have cereal and that's not very often. So those are those. Oh, I went in Aldi and I got this. It's Le Cura Power for Women. It's perfume. Never seen this one before. It was 2 99 And this is what it looks like. I don't know what this is supposed to be a dupe of, if you could let me know. That's what it looks like. And it smells really, really nice. Power. <sighs> I don't know. It smells lovely. 2 99 An everyday perfume, you know. Uh, I love the liqueur of perfumes. And you know what? They last quite well. That smells lovely. So if anybody knows what that's supposed to be a, a dupe of, let me know, please. So that is that. I've got a few more bits from... Um... Uh... <laughs> b and M. bloody hell, I couldn't think what it was then. <coughs> Excuse me, right. I had my, uh, my scanner out in b and I always do when I'm round the homeware part, you know, I, if I see anything that I like, I scan it and sometimes I drop lucky and yeah, it's cheaper than it says on the tin. The first thing I picked up was this basket. Now it says, here, can you see it's got like a toilet roll, so it's you can put your toilet roll on here and you've got a waste paper basket underneath, which, yeah, is great. However, I'm not going to use it for that. I am going to use this in my makeup room when I get ready for some of my stuff because it's overflowing. I need to sort it out. So I thought I'd use it for that. I mean, I could take this out if I wanted to, but I kind of like the look of it. Uh, I may end up using it in one of the bathrooms. £14, it says on there. I scanned it. It is it, actually called a roll holder basket. I scanned it. It was a fiver. So that was straight in my trolley. And I am going to find a different purpose for it other than as a toilet roll holder. So that's that. Then the next thing that I got is this beautiful wreath let me just do a thumbnail <laughs> i'm gone there we go um 
it's a pussy willow wreath how nice is that for winter absolutely beautiful i may even upcycle it a little bit and add a few extra bits i'll see <laughs> now this was scanning at 15 pounds it's called a pussy willow wreath and it's from the scandy shore range i scanned it four pound how about that for a bargain we love a bargain four quid so really like that i may even put that on one of my christmas trees i'm not sure yet now the last two things from b m are these beautiful hurricane candlesticks they are really really stunning they're silver they've got like this crystal effect here this is very much my style in, in uh, most of the rooms but this one's more natural in here and the other guest bedroom but the master bedroom and the bedroom where i get ready is very much silver and chrome so yeah i thought these would come in for one of them rooms however they may end up under one of the christmas trees maybe because I thought with a beautiful candle in at Christmas, these would be absolutely stunning. Even on the Christmas dining table, like I said, I've got two. These were on the shelf for £10. Scanned them and they were a fiver each. So I got the two for ten, half price. Well chuffed with those. Really, really like them. I just need to get... <coughs> Excuse me, a couple of uh, these, these candles to go inside. So that is everything that I picked up from B&M and Poundland, guys. Not a massive haul, like I said, I'm, I'm not just going to spend for the sake of it on Christmas stuff. But when I do go Christmas shopping, you know, I'll go Christmas shopping. Uh, so, yeah, I'll show you everything as we go along Um Friday, I'm going to Telford, I did tell you, and on the way back, I'm going to call into Home Bargains, because I haven't been to Home Bargains for so long, and I love that shop, so yeah, I'll haul anything that I pick up from there. Now, I also need to show you this, where's the box gone? What did I do with the box? Hang on. Oh, there it is. Uh... My friend Joanne Wright, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Joanne's channel. If not, I'll leave it down below so you can go and give her uh, a subscribe. Uh, beautiful channel Joanne's got. She does hauls and crafts and, yeah, upcycles. She's, she's amazing. I love her to bits. Uh, last year, she bought a heated throw from Aldi and she said it was just amazing. Now, with this energy crisis that we've got going on and the cost of energy as from the 1st of October is going to just skyrocket out of control, isn't it, guys? And a lot of people are going to find it difficult uh, heating their homes. And it's, it's no joke. People are going to find it difficult to turn the heating on. Now, we should never, in this day and age, not be able to keep warm or feed ourselves. It's absolutely unbelievable. Don't get me started. Anyway, uh, I looked on Aldi's website. I mean, it was last year when Joanne bought it, I think. Um, and I looked on Aldi's website and they hadn't got on because I thought, I'm, I'm going to get some because, you know, it does get very cold here, being so far up a mountain. Excuse me excuse me sorry in the winter we have got the log burner and our heating runs on oil so we've got like a big tank in the garden that uh, you have somebody come they fill it with hot oil and that runs the heating system however it normally costs between it depends on the price per litre of this oil it normally costs between 800 and a thousand pound to fill that up and that'll last us over the winter i mean sometimes we have to fill it twice three times 
but when it was £800 to fill, it wasn't too bad because it lasted over the winter and kept us warm. However, the price of the oil has gone up that much, it's now going to cost about £3,000 to fill it up once. So, me and Les have spoke about it and he, I said to him, I said, that is absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that you're going to spend £3,000 on filling up uh, an oil um, system, oil heating system for a couple of months, three or four months. Now, we're going to find other ways to keep warm. It's, this is a very long way of telling you that I've bought, well, Les has bought some bloody heated over blankets. <laughs> anyway, Joanne inspired me to get these. Well, yeah, I showed them to Les and Les ordered them. Les has bought these and he got them off eBay. Uh, they are electric heating blanket, cosy flannel material it's got like a sticker over the front you can't see it properly with the weight on uh it's 71 by 51 inches so it's like six foot by five foot it's a big one and it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous it's got six heat settings it's very very soft after three hours it turns off automatically it heats up really quick it's energy saving you can wash it in the machine it's absolutely amazing and I think Les said that this, to heat this um, per hour is something like, what did he say now? Something like a light bulb. Did he say 16 pence? Something like that. An hour, like a light bulb per kilowatt hour. Yeah, I think he said it's about 16 pence for an hour rather than like two quid or three quid having your eating on for an hour. So it's very, very energy efficient as well. And he bought us one each and it says that it's an electric throw blanket and it can be used for office, leisure, uh, leisure time at home, keep warm when you are working, accompany you for a better nap time, keep warm in cold winter or enjoy better sleep on freezing nights, enjoy reading a book, watching TV, etc. So guys, I will leave the link below for these. They were £40. There's lots of different ones on there, but these are big. There's some smaller ones uh, for like 25, 30 quid, but they are small. Depends what you want. If you want a smaller one, they are there. But this, let me show. Oh, it's so soft. This was the only colour they had left, lilac. So Les has got a lilac one as well, but they are reversible. So it's cream on the one side. This is where it, uh, you know, heats up here. That perfume smells beautiful. So it's cream on the one side. And lilac on the other. And it is so, so soft. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And you can see... <laughs> it's massive it's absolutely massive so guys instead of eating your home heating your home for astronomical prices that they're you know showing uh charging us at the moment heat yourself and get you an electric throw blanket cheap as chips to run 40 quid to buy. There's some that are cheaper. There's some that are more expensive. It depends what you want. But as I say, this was off eBay. And I will try and link it below or something very similar. And that, my darlings, is the end of this little haul. But before I go, <laughs> I've got another giveaway for you. Now, I did mention this in my last video that uh, Madame Glam had sent out another pack of nail varnishes and a lamp by mistake. They sent me two. So they have asked, they, well, I said to them, shall I send it back? And they said, no, do a giveaway. So the only thing that they have asked of you guys, if you want to enter, is that you go across to their YouTube channel 
and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Like this video, comment down below, hashtag Madam Glam. And yeah, I'll be giving this away. Now it is sealed, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it, okay? So you can see exactly what is inside this box, if I can get into it. There we go. So I've ju I'm just opening it like that. So inside, you get, what's that? No, oh, it's just come off the top of the bottle. You get a uh, top coat and base coat. There's this beautiful Barbie pink, a really nice uh, nude colour, and the gorgeous red that I painted my toenails with in one of my previous videos that you saw. So you get all of that, and you also get the little lamp to cure your nails. So, yeah, I'll leave Madam Glam's website down below. I'll leave their um, YouTube channel down below. So if you want to enter, please go over and subscribe to their channel, like this video, and comment hashtag Madam Glam. So I know you want to enter, and I'll do the... Um, results in a week or so and remember guys if anybody messages you saying that you've won you haven't until you see me do the live draw there's no winner i'll be the one doing the draw it won't and i won't send you a message i'll tell you on my channel so just be aware <coughs> of these bloody scammers because they're a kerry nightmare Right, how long have we been going? We've been going 27 minutes, guys. Not too bad. Uh, I think I spent 20 of them talking about the piscine oil-filled radiators. <laughs> Central eating. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. Uh, yeah, enjoy it. And I will see you all. I'm not sure whether I'll see you on Friday because I have got a busy day. Um... But what I'll do, I'll probably upload Saturday or Sunday with what I purchase on Friday, so another haul. And then I'm going to spend a few days cleaning and filming. So you'll see that next week, probably, maybe. I might upload Saturday and Sunday. I'll see how I feel. <laughs> so with all that being said, my darlings, don't forget to give me a like if you haven't already. Subscribe down below. Pop on the notification bell, it'd be great if you stuck around. And also, don't forget to leave all your lovely comments down below. And I'll catch up with you guys down there. Yeah, so until next time, I love you loads. And I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.